Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be breaking down my patented 80 Annie Toplin. It's incredibly strong and possibly the strongest boy pick in the game due to her 625 auto attack range. It's very unfortunate, but my last 80 Annie video, everyone thought it was an April Fool's joke because I put it out on April Fool's. Me personally not being a filthy heathen, I don't celebrate April Fool's. I didn't think about it at all. But anyways, you're gonna wanna go fleet for the health, presence of mind for mana, lacrity cooted gross. This is cosmic with attack speed 80 and how strength is is the fact that we have the stun to get people off of us we also have 625 auto attack range which is the second highest in the game behind caitlin 650 and we're going to be rushing down things like sundered sky bork kraken terminus just really depends on the matchup against someone like woolly bear bork rush would be best you're mostly going to poke with autos because that outranges your q and you're going to farm a lot with your q's so as awkward as that might feel that's what we're going to be doing so don't be afraid to have to waste your stun. I mean, it sucks to lose that pressure, but it is what it is. You can't have that pressure ultimately forever. He's just ripping and dipping hard into the wave. Every time our fleet's up, we really want to hit him with that if we can. Get him with the Q auto right as he overextends. Get a point in our E for the movement speed. Go into bush whenever we hit him and he's near his minions. That way the minions stop trying to hit me. Go ahead and auto Q auto. Beautiful. Standing close as you can get away with with the minions is a big part of how you're going to last hit. It's very important because Annie's autos and Q both have a really long float time. So if you're constantly very far away, no matter how much practice you have on this, you'll find yourself like constantly struggling to actually get your last hits. Get a point in our W. Auto Q auto. Auto W auto trying to get him off the wave. I don't want him to actually crash it. Go with an auto Q auto. Sidestep it, W auto Q auto, auto E. And I just straight up killed him, not bad. He had nowhere to go. He saw a master, you had him pinched, so he's just kind of suiciding there, more or less. All right, I need a reset. I need to back. First item back, you do want to get Swifties if you can afford it. In this case, uh, it's, that is actually going to force me to stay. That's unfortunate. Oof, I'm going to miss everything anyways. I should have had you stay and help me push. Oh my goodness. First minion, let's go. Auto Q. Auto Q. Auto Q. I really don't want to have to use my potion. I still have my flash ghost. He burnt his exhaust. Exhaust is super cheesy to run in a solo lane like this. I don't think he's too happy about uh, getting killed. No one really respects the Annie pick, more or less. We're gonna spurn out of there. We're on ghost plus E speed up. Got it. Try to pecker him down, auto Q. Auto W. So yeah, you do really end up farming mostly with your abilities, assuming they're constantly within range to auto attack. And I have my flash still to escape. I have biscuit I can pop to get some mana if I really need it. We need a break vision with Bush. We get him with an auto Q. He's dead here to Master Yi. I have another ward. And we'll get him with an auto. What, you have the kilts, whatever. We already crashed the wave, so we're good to go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. First recall, we do want to get Swifties if we can afford it. First item back, always Bork or Sundered Sky. I find that works absolutely the best because they both give you sustain. It's a big part of it. Sundered Sky gets champions where you can't, like if they commit and they can do damage to you, something like a Riven with all of her dashes. I find Sundered Sky is really good against her. Or if there are six in your full health, the thing in one shot you. If you don't have any HP, I find Sunder Sky is really good. But eight out of ten games, it's Bork. Two out of ten games, it's Sunder Sky. If you really need that extra health. Second, third item ish is pretty much always Terminus and Kraken, whichever one you need more. It's hard to go wrong with either. Auto him out. Got my stun ready. I don't want to get cannon. Auto Q. Use an ability for it. Now that we have tier 2s, so he literally just can't get to us. 
Oof, okay. <laughs> Commentator's curse on that one. Well played to him. I needed to sidestep. Letting that hit me absolutely got me chunked. He's actually going to hit six soon. When he's six, I got to give him a little bit of respect. Oof, thought that auto would kill it for sure. Rip, should have pressed Q. Auto Q. Apparently have to Q for these ranged minions. He didn't get credit for that plate. He wasn't close enough. Auto Q. Doesn't get there in time. You kind of see that float time always blaming me. <laughs> That's funny. I have a colossal wave. I need to leave that wave to go help him when he's towards the enemy's jungle. For sure, for sure. That way, the moment the enemies see me leaving lane, they just leave and I miss three waves. So I can hold Master Yi's Tinkler so he can feel safe. Very nice. There's the little fleet heal. Fleet heals you pretty much zero off of minions. Off of turrets, champions, monsters, you get a pretty sizable heal. A lot of people still end up building magic resist because they don't realize they're actually playing AD and Annie. They just assume you're AP because Annie never goes AD. Or at least not from what they've ever seen. Auto Q. I'll biscuit here. Auto Q auto. I am missing CS while he's wasting my time. Unfortunately. Now, just because... Nocturne is probably six at this point. I do kind of want to hold stun if possible. We just literally, if we never let E hit us, he won't kill us, even if I have to take some gnarly sidesteps to get around it. You like that, Vully? I got some more of these for you, buddy. Auto QR, auto W, down you go, buddy. Got greedy. Thought I was just never going to use an ability. Certainly not the case. He's not going to be coming for me. I have way too much health. Oh dang, got my tippers. Chew down this plate, got flash and ghost. In between autos, you really should move around. Like in game to get your fleet back up. Gets it up much faster. This wave's actually pushing towards me, believe it or not. It's tight. It's gonna all activate sooner, attack sooner, since it's within an attack range versus a string bean line. Terminus is not a bad first item rush. Bork is simply more consistent. Much, 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 much more consistent. They have a lot of uh, healing with the Silas. I might have to get heal cut. They got a lot of healing on Bully Bear, W spam against champs. A little bit of Nocturne passive. Probably a little bit of Nocturne items. Plus the Silas self heal is pretty big. So, someone on our team's got to get some kind of magic resist. This would have been a weird game to play AP Annie too with the Zyra and uh, LeBlanc. It's your fault. <laughs> it's Master you, man. He's giving out free coaching in game. What a, what a guy. Such good coaching. It's your fault. If you're having to type that to your teammates, don't say it, because then you'll make your teammates mad at you, even if you're right. Alright, break aggro with Bush. Bushes are really useful. If the enemy champ is near their minions and you hit them, their minions go berserk, especially the range creeps. I panicked a little bit there with my E, just because he was committing so heavily. Auto Q, auto W. Still have my... Flash Ghost if need be. Auto Q Auto. You did a good job crashing that. I'll pull this away a little bit. I'd prefer it like <laughs> attack my minions instead of me. What did he base or something? He might have. He took a lot of damage trying to finish shoving that wave. I'll use my auto just to heal off fleet plus vampiric D blade. Whew, feels bad. This wave's still coming to me, at least in the short term. Depends on if his minions will focus out my cannon. Yeah, my wave's actually gonna slow push into him now. I had the early reinforcement point, he didn't have four more minions than me. A lot of people don't perceive properly wave freezes to where they'll step forward as if you have a true freeze even though you don't and yeah you see that a lot 
We need Tibbers to get his tushy over here, man. Ah, I just missed my stun. Just like raw dog missed. If I had landed that, would have been a very, very different outcome. I think we kill him there. Tibbers goes berserk when you land stun. I almost have a backup. Might still be able to kill him. He doesn't have shield. You get two or some damage on him. Oh, that's not going to hit me, my man. Good with an auto W. We need to not let him heal off of us with his W or he'll heal way too much the lower and healthy is. He's actually dead here, right? Yeah, I think he's a goner. Why am I getting pinged? I'm mad that that works, Desire. Yeah, I don't think she expected that to work. Q's pretty high base damage. And it puts them in a weird spot where if they build armor, our abilities are doing decent damage, even though we're building AD. If we build magic resist, then obviously our autos are hitting really, 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 really hard. This wave's actually coming to me, I think. I guess I crashed it just hard enough. I had some melee's kamikaze. Nice little LeBlanc snare. Is it enough? We'll see. Silas big self heal. <laughs> That's so funny. Silas is such a weird character. You can just straight up 1v2 and not die. We'll use our fleet speed up. Get over here a little bit quicker. Boop. Boop. And skadoop. These Bork autos are going to feel really, really good. Auto Q auto. I think I actually refreshed his Q duration. If you snap Volibear out of his Q, it takes it off a cooldown instantly. Got to be careful with that. If his Q is already about the end, you do not want to CC him out of it. Essentially, just refresh it. I don't want to miss that minion. Guess we can crash wave on him. That's fine. I'm trying to stay nice and close. Get my autos there sooner. Got it. This is a fleet auto. Chew up his turret, force him to do something. Boop. Wow, my cannon dragged all the way forward. It's a cannon minion, not a melee minion. Boop. I don't have ghosts. That makes me a little nervous. It's going to make it... Uh, Hard for me to get away from a big gank. We'll E away from this. It's on us a little bit. Auto R, auto Q, auto, auto W. Auto Q, I'll let Tibbers pull back. If I just get away from him, I can still use Tibbers to push. Tibbers autos, and he's got a big burn aura as well. I'll go ahead and hold on to my stun here. We can certainly get it back up. Feel a little bit safer right now. I'm, I haven't been looking at the minimap this much. I'm kind of fatigued. So if there's something I can do that's safe, I'll lean more towards that. This guy's about to lose his turret. What's, the, what's funny to me is whenever I play AD Annie, almost nobody types about it in game. It's really strange. Like they just pretend like it's not happening so they don't have to think about it. It is real and it will hurt you. <laughs> Uh, man, Nocturne R is going to be up soon. Get with the auto Q auto. I should have E'd sooner. I didn't even see his freaking E there going off. It's my bad. I have Ghost. I'm pretty far spaced away from Wooly. Nocturne wouldn't want to take this since I'm full health. We'll E forward. I don't generally like to use my E offensively like this, but... Some situations where it's okay. Nocturne just burnt R. Well, he can't effectively get to me from that position. Auto Q. And a Q in the auto. If Wooly's missing a lot of CS, he kind of has to. We can bully him down so hard. The Swifties purchase is freaking brutal to play against. I've been the victim of various ranged top lane champions with Swifties and Fleet. And that's when it kicked into my head. You know what? Annie is a little bit more a little bit more mobile than Caitlyn with her speed up. She doesn't have to commit to something that's easily canceled, right? Caitlyn dash can be canceled by displacements. Uh, on top of that, Annie has the stun, very good self pill, much more consistent than a Caitlyn trap. 
we're gonna let that fade get him with an r auto qw auto auto somebody right here oh, i need to get away from this auto qw he's getting chunked right now tibbers get him tibbers auto q i'll let tibbers do his thing so we almost wait somebody killed volley i don't know what killed volley but we almost killed silas as well we also got his tp push tibbers over there try to make sure silas isn't still here the flash ghost away oh oh i've misplayed what i needed to do was drag him a little farther with my ghost speed up difference and then I should have W because W has a shorter travel time than Q. If I would have W there, I would have lived even. Even though I should have just kept running. I, I needed to get him deeper underneath my turret, so that's my bad. He finished me off with an auto of all things. We at least get the assist on him. We'll go for at this point. I mean, Sunder's not bad, but kind of like Kraken. Terminus wouldn't be bad. Sunder, it's just kind of, of a good neutral option, I find. But um, I think Kraken will be better here. More damage output. Yeah, you got a little greedy there. Nice little Zyra snare. We got decent CS all in all for not having TP. He needs to get that last hit. When junglers kill a jungle monster, they get a bunch of health back. The primary jungle monsters so like Big Wolf, Big Raptor, Scuttle, Red Buff, Blue Buff, Dragon, etc. Taking this pretty quick. Getting with an auto Q, auto W, auto. Walk this guy down. That's a should have been a fleet auto rip suppose like if i throw an auto at 95 charge and i keep moving before the auto even lands if it's at 100 it won't apply the fleet charge unfortunately he's bully so far behind ad annie actually doesn't fall off i know it sounds weird to say but with our long auto range consistent stun she performs very well in team fights a lot better than you'd expect. I'm, I, for example, I'm, I will outscale Wooly Bear. What is going on over here? My Ghost Flash are both on a cooldown. What is Zyra doing? She's one full item. Silas is one. Nocturne's two. Hmm. That's bad. Auto R auto, auto Q auto. Uh, I can kind him out, but I can't kill him. His self heal comes back up really fast. Just trying to keep Tibbers alive for as long as I can. Tibbers will heal once you get him. A little bit more on the outside of things. He's trying to kill my Tibbers. It's incredibly rude and disrespectful. <laughs> I'll ghost him down here. Got the stun by using W in midair. Ah, I got it. Oh, save me, LeBlanc! Save me! Nice. We'll take it. Holy moly. The tipper speed up. We end up pinching Silas right in the bunghole. We got Kraken. We'll go straight into Terminus from here. If you're looking for something a bit beefier, a bit girthier, juicier, tender, and mild, I'd say Sundered. It's an item I like. Stride Breaker isn't bad. It's a little hit or miss though. Sunder is a very, very solid HP item if you need it. Otherwise, it can be kind of attack speed on hit heavy. They got wrecked in that fight. Holy crap. That went very poorly. <laughs> Aww. She was guessing too hard with the snare. She just had to cut off his escape with it. One, two, three. You feel the Kraken power. Kraken power is pretty good. Oh, 
auto Q. Alright, I don't know what's going on there. I guess my teammate got R'd. We're gonna go ahead and E away. I still have Flash, so good luck to him. I need to play around Master Yi. This is warded. I don't think Thresh sees me from here. I could flash for and probably kill him. Yeah, whatever. All right, we got his flash. I use mine, which kind of sucks. Flash flash is a trade. He's also low, so he has to reset. So all in all, it's technically advantageous. The only reason why I would avoid that type of trade is I feel like I can carry harder than this guy with my flash. All right, we'll just pull Tibbs out. We can send him out, get vision even. Pull him out. They're all freaking out trying to kill him. They don't realize I'm porting him back. Send him out that way. Pull him out. We'll get him with a stun. Nice little Zyra knockup. I'm dead here 100%. Tibbers, he started chasing Sias for whatever reason. That was a really tough fight. Master, he wants to split push. That's a little frustrating. I know we win team fights. I'll just go follow Master Yi around. So we're strong, but at this stage, enemies have so much damage that we have to be grouped up. <clears throat> if two of them are going to heavy commit for me, I can set up the stun. String him out a little bit. I'll die, and then my teammates can clean everything up. From here, it is Terminus for sure. We won't attack speed overfill at all. After Terminus, we can look for, uh, I mean, Sundered's fine. Runon's isn't bad. Could go Gunzus. I wouldn't necessarily recommend going any type of crit item on AD Annie. Because none of your abilities crits. You can find better, you can find better options than crit on Annie. I have Ghost and R. My team as a whole really doesn't want to play around us. Very, very sad. Look how much damage our autos are doing. We can one tap range creeps if we have crit. We're at 186 AD. I usually max my E second, not W second. E gets a little bit more shield. A little bit more reflect, a little lower cooldown. Hmm, I have no clue what's going on. He's knocked over here. LeBlanc dies. I'm gonna go follow Yi around. This is a waste. I can't save her. do some damage to Nocturne and I'll pull back. I mean, it's so silly for you to split. We, li we literally win 5v5 and you wants to split push. It's ridiculous. I'm going to push mid just in case they commit to Baron. If they want to chase me, that's fine. Because I don't want them to uh, get Baron, as you can imagine. I I'm just going to follow you around. People who play the split game on a non-split push character, just follow them around. Waste it, like... He's not a split push champ. He has R resets. And if he's forced to use his hard to escape, he's not a very good character at that point. We're down right here. Have Ghost have R. Nice. I'm going to follow him around. It's, do, it's, it's so dumb not to team fight. We win team fights. Tanks aren't tanky. CC's what's tanky. They don't have... Uh, a big CC tank. Auto Q auto, auto W auto. He's just stunned. He can't even play the game. He's done for 1.75. Almost two seconds to CC. Auto Q W. Drop the R. That's a double stun, baby. And we save Master Yi. We'll ghost for this. Auto him down. Auto Q auto. Down he goes. AD Annie, I'm telling you guys. She got some damage. Not bad, not bad, not bad. 
That should be GG's. They think they're going to outscale for some reason. A lot of people have a misconception of AD Annie falling off. So it's due to her high auto range that she still finds good positional angles. And that, my friends, is GG's. We'll take it. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we had the second most in the game. I'm really happy with this because Mastery had 3k more than us. And I think Silas also had 3k more than us. So the fact that we could do number two, even though we didn't have the most gold in the game, I'm very excited with. For damage taken, we were mostly middle-ish of the pack, low middle-ish, self-mitigated, low middle-ish. With that being said, I don't see an option for pet damage taken. I know Tibbers tanked a lot. And for runes, high value. All in all, 80 Annie, it's one of my favorite off-meta pocket picks. I haven't found a lane it can't really play against that well. I, th I think Kenshin is kind of hard. Luckily, you don't see Kench too often. Even though Rek'Sai top is S plus tier right now, she's about to get nerfed. And with that being said, Rek'Sai top can't even kill you. So, all in all, Annie top, I really like it. If you guys enjoyed this Annie video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.